Salon Alfa Romeo 155, tailored, not for basketball players, high passengers will feel the lack of free space above their heads. But the driver, thanks to the height adjustment of the seat, will be able to get more comfortable. All the seats are sporty and hard and not very suitable for long trips. The high, stern, and large headrests at the back of the sofa somewhat limit visibility to the rear. The interior of the car is also quite original. First of all, the angular dashboard attracts attention. The instrument panel is studded with many round dials. In addition to standard pointers, there are pointer gauges for oil pressure and temperature. Almost the entire center console was filled with climate control buttons, which most modifications are equipped with. Even the basic versions of the 155th are well equipped. They have front power windows, central locking, a height adjustable steering column, power steering and ABS. Although the size of the luggage compartment is not so important for a sports car, we note that the Alfa Romeo 155 trunk is one of the largest among classmates, 525 liters. For example, the Ford Mondeo has only 470 liters of luggage, the Honda Accord has 405 liters, and the VW Passat B4 has 495 liters. Most gasoline engines, with the exception of the 2.0-liter turbo and 2.5-liter V6 units, are equipped with a proprietary twin spark system with two spark plugs per cylinder. It improves the efficiency of the system as a whole and contributes to an increase in engine power. However, twin spark significantly increases the cost of maintenance, as they use expensive platinum-coated spark plugs. Usually they are able to serve from 60 to 100,000 kilometers. But if these engines are fed with low-quality gasoline, then the candles die much earlier, and their replacement will cost $216 only eight pieces, one candle, $27. The most significant drawback of the 155th, inherent in many other Italians of those years, is the poor quality of the electrical wiring. Over time, her braid dries out and becomes stiff. As a rule, one has only to bend the wire, and the thin metal core immediately breaks. As a result, problems arise with various electrical appliances. Numerous plug-in connections in the engine compartment are also prone to oxidation, which leads to failures of sensors, assemblies, and the engine. As employees of a specialized service station assure, Alfa Romeo 155 engines are reliable, especially the so-called chain, the gas distribution mechanism of which is driven by a metal chain, gasoline engines, or cylinder 8 valve and B6. With these units, not too caring owners are insured against typical breakdowns, firstly, there is no risk of a fatal meeting of valves with pistons due to a broken belt, and secondly, the mechanism is less sensitive to untimely oil changes, since it does not use hydraulic compensators. Although there is a downside to the coin, the work of adjusting the thermal clearances of the valves is very expensive, about $90. The fact is that to replace the shims you need to remove the camshaft. According to the recommendations, it is necessary to adjust the valves every 30 to 35,000 kilometers. In belt engines, gasoline, 16 valves, and turbo diesels, the timing belt, together with the tension roller and the balancing shaft belt, which only gasoline versions have, must be changed every 50,000 kilometers. During this procedure, it is also necessary to check the condition of the pump, it is driven by the same belt. However, we note that turbo diesels are extremely rare in our country. Most Alfa Romeo 155s are front-wheel drive cars. All-wheel drive versions of the Q4, equipped with the center differential, which is blocked by a viscous coupling, and a torsion limited slip differential in the rear axle, are rare in Ukraine. In fact, this transmission is an analog of the one installed on the Lancia Delta HF Integral. It is also difficult to find versions equipped with the four-speed automatic transmission. As a rule, we operate cars with a completely reliable five-speed manual transmission, the maintenance of which consists in regular, every 80,000 kilometers, oil changes. Although she still has a weak point, over time, the plastic bushings of the swivel joints of the gearshift drive rods wear out. As a result, the rods come off and the gears do not turn on, spare parts, $20, labor, $5. Do not ignore the timely, every two years, replacement of the fluid in the clutch hydraulic actuator, which is equipped with most of the 155ths, otherwise the clutch slave cylinder fails, fluid begins to leak through the seals. Replacing the latter will cost a pretty penny, $100, supplied only assembled with the cylinder. In principle, you can install cuffs from Fiat Chroma, but this will not solve the problem. 
since the leak appears due to wear on the cylinder mirror. Independent front and rear suspension with short stroke shock absorbers provide the car with good stability, although the running is quite rigid. As a result, it quickly breaks on our roads. First of all, this concerns the front suspension, which, according to service station workers, has to be sorted out on average every 40,000 kilometers. Moreover, silent blocks and ball joints are changed only together with the lever, so this operation is not cheap, spare parts $76 and work $14 per one piece. At the same time, it does not hurt to change the bushings of the anti-roll bar struts, since this costs only $4. The shock absorbers are not very durable either, but the rear suspension looks indestructible against this background, the bearings of the rear levers nourish up to 100,000 kilometers. The steering gear, 155ths, equipped on all versions with the hydraulic booster, is sharp and informative, so the car is distinguished by enviable handling. The unit is quite reliable, but subject to the timely replacement of the working fluid, the procedure must be performed when the fluid darkens. Otherwise, there is a risk that the rail seals will leak. True, the rail can be repaired for $230, parts and labor. The brake system, equipped with disc mechanisms, in front, ventilated, and the ABS system is quite effective. When replacing pads, be sure to lubricate the caliper guides, otherwise they may turn sour. Over time, problems arise with the handbrake. Due to a break in the anther, the braided cable becomes rusty. If you're not a fan of the Alfa Romeo 155, don't mess with this car. It is not intended for practical, not too caring or not in love with motorists. In addition, spare parts and maintenance of the 155th are more expensive than other Italians. But if you are a connoisseur of this model and are ready to forgive its whims, then you can choose the right copy using the weekly Apto Bazar catalog. Although you have to look, there are not too many offers for the Alfa Romeo 155.